Good morning, how are we doing? Uh, it's another brew day and uh, mm, coffee is my friend. Uh, I did a shift at the pub last night, got in about half eleven and I just needed a, a it was just a horrendous shift. I just needed a drink, so I stayed up till about half twelve. No, it's about maybe it's gone, yeah, it's gone twelve. I couldn't sleep till about one o'clock and then wife was up at ten past six for work and I'm like, I know I've got to do this. I know I need, well, I want to do this brew day. So I need to be up. <sighs> right, so first brew day for six weeks and um, I'm not in the best of moods for it. But I have to be, I have to be honest with you. I'm just not, ah, uh, can't be asked. But I want to do it, so I think that's pushing me through. But anyway, so what we're brewing today is basically a pale ale. Not really a sure on a, a, a it's just a pale ale. Um so we've got one and a half kilos of wheat malt, one and a half kilos of crisp uh, it's just pale malt. Decided to switch up from Marisata just for a couple of brews just to just to see how it goes. I'm gonna blend pale and marisata with it in another one because I think that's what I'll have left. Um, so in a way, it, actually, I think it's kind of a similar grain bill to my American wheat. So I don't know. Mm. I, that's what I mean. It, it's style-wise, it, it's whatever it is. Anyway, so I've got a kilo of light spray malt as well. Um, for those of you who are not sure what I'm doing, um, I do what's called partial mash, so let me just show you, because I don't do enough of this stuff, I seem to have some kind of random bogey on me. Um, so yeah, that is a 12 litre pot. Um, I've got 3 kilos, or 3.2 kilos of grain in there, it's at 65 degrees, bag in there as well. Uh, so what I would do for for a, <clears throat> if you're looking around four or five percent with that grain bill, which is three point two kilos, of what would you be looking at? Twelve? No. I don't know what you'd be looking at liter wise. You must be looking around ten, fifteen liters, something like that. Ten liters, twelve liters, yeah, whatever. Um, and then just basically kit principle, really. Bulk it up. That's all you're doing. Adding more water, bulk it up. The only thing we're doing it this way is your hop utilization is less. You need more hops. So it's actually not as cost effective if you're doing it for that reason. Um, but the difference isn't massive, to tell you the truth. Um, my tip is you use something like Warrior high alpha acid bittering hop, you use less of it, or you would use a similar amount to what you would normally use of a, you know, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's if you want warrior as a bittering hop. Uh, so yeah, so that's the plan. Um, sorry, I was looking through the green bill, wasn't I? So it's a oh, kilo and a half of wheat malt, kilo and a half of pale malt, 100 grams of crystal, 100 grams of carapels, I've not gone massive on the specialty malts just because, oh, I don't know, just trying to, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have done, maybe I should have added a bit more, doesn't matter, I'm not really that bothered, um, I'm playing around with stuff at the minute, I've, I've done a few where I've gone absolutely crazy ass with, <laughs> with, with specialty malts, like the Vienna Lager, that was insane. Like 15% of the grain bill, I think, was specialty malt. No, not this time. It's probably about six, it's probably about 5%, if that. Um, so, yeah. Mashing at the moment. I'm going to try and get this shithole of a kitchen tidied up. Do some house stuff. And uh, I'll be back probably when we get to the boil, because... It's a bit faffy for me doing all the uh, spa, 
sparging, as I call it. Yeah. Sparge. Mm, no. Yeah, I don't do sparging properly. No, I, I tempt it. So, uh, yeah. We'll come back. We've got more to show you. Okay, so I said I'd be back. Oh, stirring coffee. Uh, second cup. So I said I'd be back once I got a boil on. Um, still hot, about halfway through the mash. And just maintaining the temp actually. I've literally sat at 65 for the whole time. So 65 and a half. Dropped about half a degree. So I might just give it a whack up. I might do a bit of a mash out on this actually. I don't normally bother. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Anyway, rather than doing, I've, I've changed changed things as I go along, as per usual. Um, hop schedule. The hop schedule pretty much itself is exactly the same. It's just, I've got to the point at the minute um, where I'm t I love dry hopping, um, but I don't seem to get the effects that it should have unless I use quite a copious amount of hops. And if I use quite a copious amounts of hops, and um, I don't know, maybe it's temperature or something like that, because I know temperature, well, apparently temperature extracts, uh, affects extraction. Um, so, and I can't crash chill because I don't have a firm fridge with a temperature controller and I'm not very keen on faffing about, but it makes bottling day just a nightmare. Getting it out the fermenter, trying to, you know, worry about getting hot crap, as I call it. Um, stuck in your siphon and it all goes in your bottling. You can see it going in and you just think that's going to clog up in a bit and it's going to clog, clog the bottling wand up. And I don't need that shit. It just makes bottling day a hell of a lot worse. So, chuck it in at flame out because the effect isn't the same. You don't get the same hit, I don't think, but you do get aroma, which is what I'm going for. So, and I think it's cool to play around with it. Everyone's into dry hopping like mad, and, you know, chuck shit loads in. Or oh, just do it at flame out and see what happens. Hmm, that's my take on it. I don't know, it might be shit. Well, anyway, I've, I've had a bit of success with it, but just not. I'm, I'm upping it a tiny bit this time. So, I'm trying to remember what I put aside. So I've got. 15 grams of warrior for bitterim at 60 minutes. A random five grams of mosaic. I don't know why five. Um, I think the idea with that is I wanted to dry hop with mosaic originally. And I've only got a 50 gram pack of hops. Um, I'm sure I've gone wrong somewhere. I should have had mosaic in somewhere else. Oh well, never mind. I think I should have added mosaic into the 10 minute boil. I've chucked it in at flame out. Um, so yeah, five grams of mosaic at 30, 10 of whole melon at 20, 15 of whole melon at 10 with a protoflock, and then, Ooh. that nice lot. Um, which is going in. So, yeah. So, that's, hang on, 25 grams of whole melon and 45 grams of mosaic. Mmm, tasty. Should have left, been left with 35, but I think I've gone wrong somewhere. Unless I just didn't calculate how much hot I actually needed. So... Yeah. I'm actually quite excited now. I really couldn't be asked earlier. But the smell of these mosaic cards. <laughs> Fucking Christ on a bike, man. I love it. Love the smell of hops. Does anyone else get that? Does anyone else just go? Oh, man. Fucking 
awesome. And it's almost on a part of this. Actually, I prefer this. Right. We need, I don't know if anyone else would do this, because I don't think wives and stuff would like it. Maybe put it in your cars. Air freshener, it smells like hops. Yeah, I'm on to a winner there. Mm. Um, anyway, yeah, enough about that. I'll come back to you when we're at the boil. I'm talking shit again. All right, bye. Okay, so we're boiling. Well, the beer's boiling, we're not. That's, that's, just, that's just deadly. Um, fucking spoon, it's, look, it's, dry, it's like, ooh, let me out, oh. so it's okay, it's not going to burn or anything, don't worry, it's fine. Um, I leave it in there, just sterilise it, so when I whirlpool and stuff, it's just easier, although it's not, because it keeps, it's like, it's like the effect, sorry, I've just spat on the screen, it's like the effect of a, um, straw in a glass of Coke, you're like, as you're going back to your table, you're like, trying to like, keep the straw down. Because I always drink coke with a straw because I'm just that kind of guy. No, I'm not really. Um, yeah, what the fuck was that about? So I was going to come back and do the, this bit of footage when I hopped. But, ah, uh, funny. Um, I need to get out more. <laughs> when I did the first hop edition. Um, but one thing I didn't mention was I'm first water hopping. I've done it on the last two or three brews now. Um, I think it's. I think I'm doing it right, and I think it's giving me a bit of success. A nice smooth bitterness as well, which is cool. And that's the whole idea of it. So thanks, Heathen Brewer, for that tip. Um, I'm liking it. I'll probably just do 60 minute editions on certain beers as well. But once we got a bit of a smoother, smoother bitterness, it's it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so 15 grams of Warrior's gone in, and woo, we're going. So probably in about, well, I left this a few minutes, so probably in about 25 minutes, I'll add the Warrior Edition. The Warrior Edition? The Mosaic Edition. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is one of those hop schedules that really annoys me, because I'm like, you, you can't do anything in between it, because you've got like 10 minutes, and then you've got another 10 minutes, and you've got why did I do this to myself? Um, but yeah, anyway, right, I'll come back in a bit. Okay, so that hasn't really totally gone to plan. Um, forgot to, st I've been so busy like trying to do housework and stuff. Tidy up for me, will you not? Great. Um, I've totally lost sight of simple things like sterilizing all my bucket and stuff, which I'm gonna do. But normally I sterilise a thermometer so I could check temperature as I'm going along. Um, so I've no idea if this is at 80 or what, but mm, flame out 80 degrees, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to try and do this really cack handed late, sorry. But look at all that beauty going in. So it's about. I don't know, what is it? 45 plus 25, that's 70 grams of hops going in there, ish. I don't know. Anyway, um, just gonna leave this for a bit. And then, I'm, well actually I'm gonna go down Tesco, get some ice, I need some dog food and stuff, so now's the ideal time for this to steep. It's only be about half an hour-ish or so. Get some ice, and then, um, I can come back and chill her down. Catch a bit. Flip around to my ugly mug with a bleeding spot. Lovely. Um, now it's stuff on my screen again. I oh, love it. Uh, yeah, I actually decided to get ice this time and do an ice bath. And I got it down to about 30 degrees. Um, used some of the hot water after the steep. So after the whirlpool, etc., use that to um, dissolve the DME, and then you're less with, left with less water to cool down in the sink. Two bags of ice probably took about 20 minutes, half an hour tops. So I'm I'm pretty impressed with that. To be fair, I've just got to fucking clear up. 
and do the rest of the housework that I said I'd do. No, it's one of my own, but my wheat beer. I'm going to be cracking this and I'll do a bit of an update video as well. Maybe once I've tied it up. Okay. Um, but I'm going to be you just make sure I've picked up the right freaking yeast. I need to pick up Saison yeast, which I actually, to be fair, I'm sure would go awesome in this. But I want, I want it to be a, a clean flavour. I want the hops to come through because I want to see what the fuck they do together. Yeah, it's been a long day. I'm not even sure what time it is. It must be about 11, maybe getting on for 12 o'clock. I started about 7 o'clock this morning. Fucking hell. But all the sparging, well, not sparging, but mash out. Um, I basically raised the temperature um, with the bag still in, in the pot. Did a bit of a mash out and then did a bit of a dunk sparge kind of thing squeezed it and I'm still at about the same efficiency I always am so I'm not doing anything differently or anything wrong it's just I'm not getting any more results out of, out of what I need to do it's just one of them things I'm happy enough with it I'm getting the results I want so time to pitch this I'm not going to show any footage of that because quite frankly I can't be asked. I'll probably drop my phone in my beer and <sighs> just be shite wouldn't it so um cheers for watching i'm not going to do any fancy editing on this so it'll literally just be this because i can't be asked and i don't have any software so bang 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 done gone boosh i'm delirious i need more coffee and beer so um happy homebrew wednesday guys and we'll catch you on another one